Good English, but can't write so fly? Well, too bad. Now stop freaking out and listen up. Okay. We're gonna get through this, buddy. It may not be pretty, and it may not smell good, mm -hmm. but you don't have any other choice. How to score. Well, on the five paragraph essay! Graders are looking to see if you can clearly communicate your ideas on paper. Remember, the grader can't read your mind. And if you attempt to transfer your thoughts through the airwaves via ESP, your teacher's reflective shield will cause your head to explode. You have to put your words and ideas on the page in a way that the reader will be able to understand. Hey, I got this essay prompt for you. Oh, I love writing essays on the beach. Yeah, I bet you do. Take a look. Ah! Oh, my bad. That's my brother. Isn't he weird? Here, try this. Both the ninja and the cowboy have made enormous impacts on each of their respective cultures. Write an essay that argues which figure is better and why. Ninjas and cowboys? That's the most unrealistic essay topic of all time ever, period. End of discussion. That will never be on the test. Maybe so. But it doesn't matter. The essays can test your ability to understand a given topic and construct an argument that is supported with relevant information. Argument. You can agree or disagree with the topic. It doesn't even really matter what you think of the topic as long as your essay is supported with accurate and appropriate examples. The body paragraphs can include historical examples. It can also include examples from books, movies, or plays. It can even contain your own experiences, or that of your friends or family. Assigned topics are generally broad, so your argument should be narrow and focused. Ha <laughs> ha! Looking good. Take a strong position on the topic. This will make it easier to make an argument and think of points to support your case. You have 25 minutes to complete this section. You may begin now. Start writing, kid! You need to organize! Kid! Kid? Brainstorm some supporting ideas, then organize those ideas into an outline in the best, most logical order. All right, here is one practice prompt and accompanying ideas slash outlines to help you get started. This is not the Digi Cowboy one. Don't get confused, we'll come back to it, but this ain't it, sugar pie. Some say it is better to have loved and lost than to never have loved at all. Is this a keen observation of human nature in regards to love? Or is it an oversimplified ideology that was created solely to keep people from whining about their last breakup? Support your position with examples taken from your personal experience or studies. Introduction. The intro.
introduction contains your argument, often called the thesis. It's what you defend and support throughout your essay. Although a complete human experience consists of highs and lows, the pain of a shattered relationship is great enough to outweigh the potential positive benefits of love. Point one. Destructive loss from love is a common theme in respected literature. A. Romeo and Juliet. B. The Great Gatsby. C. Love Line, starring Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Point two. In my own experience, I have found my situation reduced to a lower state than before my relationship began. A. I no longer take care of my personal hygiene. B. I don't have a girlfriend or a best friend, leaving me without friends. <laughs> Point three. Powerful historical figures who do not value love. A. Henry VIII. Don't tell me better to have loved than lost. Oh, muffins. This happens all the time. B. Bill Clinton. C. My dad. Conclusion. Love hurts. Don't call me on Valentine's Day. Make an outline. Before you begin your outline, encapsulate your ideas on the topic into one sentence, the thesis statement. This is the proposition or argument which you will support throughout your essay. Outline. Thesis. Ninjas surpass cowboys in almost every way. Point one. Ninjas have greater responsibility and influence. A. Government upheaval. B. Assassinations. C. Cowboys just walked cows around. Maha. Point two. Ninjas are discreet and subtle. A. Secret double life of the ninja. B. Ninjas are modest and humble. C. Cowboys are obvious and simple. Point three. Ninja equipment is better and more interesting. A. Highly specialized weaponry. B. Variety and mystique. C. Cowboy equipment is boring. Conclusion. Ninjas make cowboys seem boring by comparison. Now, with the power of your outline, you are like a king, queen, or duke. Now you've got to ride it, 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 ride it, ride it, ride it. Introduction Paragraph. How do we write the introduction paragraph? Hold on, I'll tell you in three easy steps. First, you restate the topic in your own words. Then state your position on the topic and sum up your three points. But what do we do next? Transition into your first and most important point. It's almost too easy. Ninjas are cooler than cowboys. The ninja is mysterious and interesting. The ninja is cooler because they are modest and fly under the radar. The ninja is cooler because... Hold the phone. You... Use of language. Use of language. Frank, you need to harness the power of your words to write an interesting and clear essay. But there are so many words to choose from, and I'm such an idiot. Idiot or not, powerful writing starts with verb choice. Avoid the following verbs. To be. Am. Are. Is. Was. Were. Says. Shows. And to do. Instead of those crappy words, why not use descriptive action verbs? Are you tired of the same old polka music? Well, your teachers are sick of your boring writing. You need to use a variety of suitable words to create an interesting essay. Make your teacher feel the jazz. Hear the jazz. Make your teacher eat the jazz. <coughs> oh gosh, too much jazz! Ninjas surpass cowboys in almost every way. The ninja was mysterious and, therefore, interesting. Historically, ninjas undertook important missions for their lords to shape their country, while cowboys sought only profit. When writing, be wary of the passive voice. The subject should be a beer. 
and a doer. Avoid the passive voice, whatever. First supporting paragraph. It can be said that both ninjas and cowboys had a major effect on their country's development. Even though both the ninja and the cowboy had a major effect on their respective nations, ninjas had a great deal of responsibility and a more direct influence. The countries were shaped differently in both cases. They don't like it. Both ninjas and cowboys shaped their countries differently. Hold the phone. Are you crazy? The passive voice occurs when the subject of a sentence is being acted upon. Gorilla was beaten by Cheetah. The gorilla is the object of the beating. The cheetah is the subject or the beater. Beat is the verb. The active voice occurs when the subject of a sentence completes the action. Cheetah beat gorilla repeatedly. Let's do it again! The political climate was affected directly by the actions of ninjas. Ninjas directly affected their political climate through their actions. They ensured that a particular group took, lost, or kept control. Ninjas perpetrated assassinations, peasant upheavals, and other sneaky activities to ensure that power and influence grew and changed in a way desirable to their masters. Second supporting paragraph. I think that ninjas are more interesting because they are more modest than cowboys. Hold the phone. I feel like ATM machines are very, very important. Hey, you're the one writing the paper, so saying I think or I feel is redundant. Like saying ATM machine. <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> I'll be here all week. I feel that ninjas are very discreet because they need to get the job done. Ninjas need to be discreet in order to successfully complete their missions. Ninjas couldn't advertise their skills or achievements because it would hurt their ability to perform various sneaky tasks that they are required to do. They had a tremendous amount of skill and talent that they kept secret instead of bragging about it. Third supporting paragraph. The tools of the ninja are really interesting. Hold the phone. If you have to add quite, very, or really to a sentence, then your word or verb choice is not packing enough punch. So put some mustard on it. The equipment that the cowboy uses seems very common. No. 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 Tools of the ninja are interesting. The equipment that the cowboy uses seems mundane when compared to the ornate yet functional pieces that the ninja carried around. The ninjas had pretty unique... No. 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 Ninjas developed unique weapons to help with unique situations. For example, ninjas carried small triangle-shaped metal points that they dropped to discourage their pursuers. The pursuers, after stomping on the points, became unable to run, allowing the ninja to escape. These impressive items demonstrate an ingenuity that is missing from the standard cowboy equipment. CONCLUDING PARAGRAPH The conclusion might emphasize your position, expand it, offer a solution, or express hope or prediction for the future. Overall, ninjas make cowboys seem plain and boring. The purpose, effect, mystery, and ingenuity of the ninja far outweigh the rough and tumble image of the cowboy. As long as people are intrigued by mystery, political intrigue, and conflict, the ninja will be a fascinating figure. This has been How to Write a Five Paragraph Essay in 25 Minutes.
<laughs> Do I look really horribly sweaty out there? Because I'm sweating quite a bit. Hey, what's the deal? You guys keep telling me to do all these things like make an argument, brainstorm some ideas, think of all these words that make sense and stuff, take your stupid mustache off, why don't you? Well, I will. I don't care because this video is I don't want to watch it anymore. Must be over.